I'm back. And what I'm doing here today is I'm putting a new battery in my car. Now, some of these new cars, you're going to have a bunch of plastic and different things you're going to want to move out of the way first. On this particular one, see, there's, there's a cover that sits over the battery there. You want that out of there. And there's a few screws you got to take out. This whole piece here, for example, comes out of the way. There's a, there's a hold down strap across the battery right here and here. That holds the new one in there. So I've already got the new one set in place. So basically the procedure for taking the old one out was just, you know, get it exposed and then disconnect the negative terminal, which was the back one here. You can always tell the negative terminal, <clears throat> you know, if you're not sure which one's which and you can't see the mark on the battery, just follow the cable back and you'll see where it'll go to ground somewhere on the body or the block of the engine. Okay, that's your negative. Okay, the positive one will often have more than one lead coming off it because it feeds the starter directly and it also feeds uh, the fuse distribution panel of, of the vehicle. It'll go to here and it'll go to the other fuse box. So, you know, if, you, if you're not sure which ones are which, make sure you know before you disconnect it. The other thing I do when I disconnect a battery, first when I take the negative off, I'll stick the cable down in such a way that it's not going to come back and touch, you know, because sometimes if you just take the cable off and sit it over here like that, there's enough, uh, you know, tension in the cable that it may come over and make contact. You don't want to do that. It's Okay, so new batteries, uh, they'll come with caps, usually on the terminals. This is a top post battery. This is the one recommended for this vehicle. And you can see the factory uh, cables here were top mount. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking some emery cloth and I'm, I've curled it up in a little circle there and I'm running it through the, the, the connections. Make sure those are nice and clean. And I've done that on both the positive and the negative. Okay. Then we got these protective caps here that keep, uh, you know, a short from happening between the terminals while it's in transit. So when you go to put it on, just take that off. And we got our positive, we can put that on here now, like that. And we'll squeeze it down nice and snug. And then it looks like we have a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Tighten that up. Okay, the other thing with some of these battery that are hidden down in under, they'll have these little covers that have to go in there and route the cables. So make sure that that fits in. Uh, let's see how this one's going to go. Looks like that one goes right like this. Let's see here. Slides in there. Uh, okay, yeah. See that little... That forms the end of the battery compartment. It tells you how tight the spot is for the battery. They've even had to make one side of it that's removable to, to change the battery. Got that one tight. Now, when we're ready to hook up the vehicle, we'll take our other one. Okay, then when you're ready, put your negative cable on and snug it down. Like that. Make sure you don't use an extension to reach way back in there like that because the extension will come out here across the positive terminal. You don't want that. You want something short, you either want to use a wrench or a short socket right there. You don't want to put a long piece back through here. It's just a, you know, you don't want to take a chance to, to run a dead short between those two terminals. The other thing you want to make sure is you want to route the cables correctly. See, on this car, there's a, there's a little retainer that holds it here to a bolt. And see, there's a little opening in the case right there. So the cable went through there and the other one drops down the inside there. Okay, so I got the covers on. Uh, this is a little bit of an air shroud. See, it's a bit of a scoop that takes air up into here to uh, dissipate any of the, uh, the gases that are generated when the battery's charging. Batteries uh, produce a, a combustible gas when they're charging. 
So uh, you want to make sure that that gets circulated. So that's why these manufacturers put this little air shroud in here on this particular model. Okay, so every manufacturer is going to be a little different, but sometimes you'll have these covers on here. Make sure you put them back on properly. They're there for a reason. And that's how that's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again here soon. Bye for now.